things that are done before before they present in the wakati wao wanatumia wakati wao ukiona hata kama ni kwaya inakuja kuiva kuna sacrifices that has been done let's appreciate them amen jina bwana baki ufalme wa mungu ni sacrifice ni sacrifice so atakuja kanisani mapema kuhudhuria ibada kuweka mambo ya mukis nothing but sacrifice wewe kupatikana ili tege ili igarimo mwana wa mungu sacrifice mambo ya mungu ni sacrifice bila sacrifice hakuna kanisa na kristo mwenyewe alianza na sacrifice msalabani jina bwana libarikiwe amen we are so happy let's appreciate god this morning once again give him praise and glory Amen. Amen. It is it is a one step at a time. This one step at a time. Uh, there are a lot of things about us in a to drag lakini Mungu anatupigania siku baada ya siku. So amen. We recover ground. Kama leo umekuja you know 8:30 next week kuja 8:15 struggle kidogo the other week kuja at 8 na usisimamie hapo mpaka uwe unakuja hata sevens kuomba ukiwa mbele ya Bwana utulia tu mbele eh, ya Bwana na Mungu ana reward God is a rewarder say God is a rewarder say it again a rewarder of who of them that diligently seek him so he's a rewarder mwambie mtu gai daliaga ngoro yani mungu hali haramu mwambie mtu gai daliaga ngoro mungu hali is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him it is not in vain and the bible says that your labor in the lord shall not go unnoticed he shall remember you there is no vain thing in the kingdom hallelujah yeah you may think he's not paying you but you never know even your generations shall be rewarded no another sister we were living with in kilisho and uh, the other day someone was telling me how his his son is is now a millionaire and mama was just traveling just traveling as afikiria kwamba pengine alikuwa naomba aone kama mungu angemkumbuka sasa watoto sasa pesa si yani ni kama jugu tu akieda ni kushotewa tu na backup tu <laughs> praise the lord so when the season come for what god is a rewarder simchagrie is a rewarder not in vain not in vain not in vain kwa hivyo ujitie moyo ujitie moyo ujitie moyo si abule kujitoa kwako kutoa kwako na kila kitu is not in vain. Father we thank you for the children this morning as they go to their classes we command even their teachers to be blessed as they minister to them receive all the praise and glory in Jesus name. Tupiga watoto makofi anapoenda. Um this week uh, imekuwa ni week ya Sunday school department um, na tunachukua mungu kwa Sunday school department or we call it children department na this time around wamejaribu sana eh wakiogoswa na pastor Bitis wamekuwa na two Saturdays ya teenagers two Saturdays ya teenagers teenagers ya Rock Church walikuja hapa tarehe 19 eh yes tarehe 17 Saturday wakachida hapa na walikuwa ni wengi na sasa yesterday tulikuwa hapa tulikuwa hapa yesterday the whole day tulikuwa hapa okay let me not say the whole day call it a day uh, it doesn't matter what time 
dealing with them, praying for them, teaching them the word yesterday here, teenagers. See, we appreciate the, the department. And before Corona, we used to do those things, and uh, because of the way it was, then we had to hold. But now we have resumed well, and uh, this Sunday, we have designated it to the children department. Sikuhi, itakuwa si kama siku ile ingine. Na kwa hivyo, ukubali hivyo. Hata yu ulikuwa mtoto. Na saa hii, we mtoto wa mungu. Salimia mtoto wa mungu. Yani, umeseka mpaka unasawa ni mtoto wa mungu. Eh? Mulega siyana siyagai. Yani hiyo ni kusema, musio kayo ni kusema, abalienyu watoto wa mungu. Mulega siyana siyagai. Mi naona kuna watu wana, wana, yani watoto wa mungu, sema watoto wa mungu. Salimia watoto wa mungu, wa moja, bili, tatu, katika jina la iso. Salimia watoto wa mungu. Na ufalume wa mungu, <laughs> bibi ya unasema, unafananichwa. <laughs> yani you have to take this kingdom with that simplicity. Jina bana ibalikiwe. Yani without questioning, unajua kitu kinasubua watu wa wazima. Eh, wa, ni ku intellect, kuulisa maswali na majipu. Lakini ufalme wa mungu ni wa watoto. Unasikia watoto wa mungu? Tusalimiani, salimiani watoto wa mungu. Amen. Mungu wabaliki sana. So today is, is a misiku ya student department. Uh, watatuhubilia briefly. Alafu baadae tutakuwa na presentation. Kuna mbabu tutafanya this service na kuna mbabu tutafanya the second service. Kwa hivyo, usiwe na haraka wa musasi. Musalimie. Hiyo haraka ya kila sadi wa chana nae. Siku ya sadi, by the way, we are supposed to be here from 6 to 6. This is the thing. Si siku ya kupanga mabo ingi. This is the thing. Abadha ni, ni ya biaga we, we ukata hake. Na kuna, kuna ujube mungu wa mepea mimi, na ni mukali. Siku ya nili, siku itukua na maobi hapa. Haka ni ya bie, ni, ya, ni fudishe kwa nini kanisa inakosa kuigia kwa nini kasi niza ina, inakosa kuigia na moja yao ni kali na nitai hubili ni kali inaetua the scene of Kadesh Bania abia mutu the scene of Kadesh Bania eh, hiyo ni kali lakini hiyo ni nzuri wana sifiwe so eh, this morning we want to welcome Mrs. Wachila and, and her team akuja tuhubili and then from there on they shall take the just come. Amen. Unapewa na watu wa mutu nasema excuse me. Yes. <laughs> Nanyuwa ni mutu wa manyewe. Chagria. Thank you Gichuho. I have been, by the way, by the way Gichuho is a very good man. Gichuho is a very good man. Amejutua hii hata kama nasaha waga pasta vina memtedea nilifudicha ee samani kapereka ee mabo hii na mtu moja a very very senior bishop alinipigia simu alaniyabia siku hisi nini eh, facebook yenyo iko juu sana that's what he told me iko juu sana so gechuho and your team that hiyo ni mimi na ni, ni na receive congratulations on outside Na wewe pokea na timu yenyu mbele ya kanisa. Wapigia makombe. They are doing a good job. Our Facebook. Kalipu sana. Father, we thank you for Mrs. Wachira as she stands to release the word. Bless her and give her the wisdom, the bonus to speak to your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shia mushete chomo. Thank you, Bishop. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Uh, na shukuru Mungu asubuhi uh, ya leo uh, kwa nafasi ya kushiriki neno lake as children's department and also we thank God for the leadership of the church bishop and pastor Beatrice for the opportunity. Uh, they have been supporting us very much 
and that is why tumefika penye tumefika financially morally and even through advice so may god bless you and on behalf of the children's ministry let us appreciate them together may god bless you we can take our seats uh also as children ministry we also want to appreciate you so much uh wazazi kwa sababu kama tungekuwa na children ministry without your support hatungefika penye tumefika so tunawashukuru kwa ajili ya kutupea watoto wenu wakati tunao wahitaji na pia some of you have gone an extra mile and they have supported us in different things so may god richly bless you and reward you because he's a rewarder he's a rewarder bwana asifiwe and that holiday though it was long uh tumekuwa na different sections with our children I, uh, I think for two months wamekuwa akikuja every tuesday and every thursday na tumekuwa na different things that we have been learning and our theme that uh, holiday ilikuwa standing out for jesus as children we are able to stand out for jesus and uh, standing out for jesus it is representing jesus in all areas of our lives and in everywhere that we are we are as children ama kama watoto tunafaa kumsimamia Mungu na hiyo ndio tumekuwa tukisoma katika hiyo likizo na nataka kusoma neno la Mungu katika 1 Corinthians ambalo limekuwa likituongoza 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 16 verse 13 uh, First Corinthians chapter 16 verse 13 Biblia inasema Be on your guard stand firm in the faith be courageous be strong Nirudie tena Be on your guard stand firm in the faith be courageous and be strong Na katika likizo hiyo tu uh, wanaposimamia Mungu katika mashule yao na katika katika maisha yao wakiwa na malafiki wakiwa peke yao to kaone ya kwamba they need to be strong that they may be able to stand out for God. Wanafaa wakue wajasili uh, na ili wakaweza kumsimamia Mungu na hali za maisha and the, wa- the way the world is they need to be strong. Bwana asifiwe. Also they need to be guarded. Na other Bible zilikuwa zinasema ya kwamba be alert. So wanafaa wakue alert ni mambo magani they are surrounding them ni mambo magani ama who are the, their friends so they need to be alert in everything that they do also they need to stand firm in their faith and that is the faith that we believe in that is the faith that you have taught them that is the faith that uh, they are grounded in and also they need to be courageous fearing nothing even if the, the, the evil has continued to increase in our days they need to be strong and uh, the children can stand up for god uh, ama they can represent god in all, in all that they do with our support as parents and that is why this morning i want to speak about standing on the gap on behalf of our children so that they may be able to to be on guard or to be alert with the evil that is increasing and so that they may be courageous so that they may stand firm and stand watete imani yao we need to stand on the gap for them bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe na ninamshukuru mungu kwa sababu msimu huu tumekuwa msimu wa maombezi na nataka kuamini ya kwamba we have uh, tumewaombea watoto wetu we have stood on the gap because of them that the enemy may not upbraid them with the so many evils that are increasing na biblia inasema katika ezekiel chapter 22 verse 20 Ezekiel akauliza In Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 Biblia inasema uh, I looked for someone among them who would build up the wall and stand before me on the ga- uh, in the gap on behalf of the lord so that i will not have to destroy it but i found none so i will pour out my lord on them and consume them with my fiery uh, anger bringing down on their own heads all they have done declares the sovereign 
road bwana asifiwe biblia inasema ya kwamba mungu ni kwa sababu ya maovu yenye waisraeli walikuwa ametenda akauliza ya kwamba i looked for someone among them who do you build up the wall bwana asifiwe na nilikuwa nikifikiria the importance of a wall uh, kama ukijenga nyumba uh, ukijenga nyumba and uh, how beautiful it can be without the security of a wall kama haujaiwekea ukuta inakuwa tu vulnerable na anybody can access that house mtu anaweza kuwa tu anaingia na anafanya vile anataka lakini when there is a wall lazima huyo mtu apitie kwa gate lazima huyo mtu akuwe na access na permission yako ya kuingia so when we uh, we stand up and build up the walls of our children through prayers we ensure that their security is assured the enemy cannot uh, get access of their life the enemy cannot uh, hata hawezi pata hiyo lango la kuingilia but when we leave them exposed without building the walls of their lives through prayers and through standing on the gap through interceding for them day and night uh, they might not be knowing that we are praying for them but once we give ourselves to intercede for them once we give ourselves to stand and build that wall and ensure that our children are not exposed to the enemy that ensure that our children even though they are out there with the children that others at our mji mungu but when we stand and build up the wall uh, do we have a pata nafasi ya kuingilia katika maisha yao and also there shall be comfort in their lives wakati kuna uh, kuna there is a wall uh, mwenye anakaa katika hiyo nyumba hakui na hakui na shaka ama moyo wake ukai ukimstuka uki, stuka anajiuliza nani ataingia ama nani atafanya lile but there is that comfort yenye anapata anajua ya kwamba nimeweka uh, nime there is a wall loud about my house so when we raise that wall when we build up the walls of our children our children will have that comfort they shall not struggle ama they shall not awataka na uoga katika maisha yao because already we have raised a wall loud about their lives and the enemy cannot be able to plunder them and the bible continue to say uh, up the wall and stand be- uh, before me on the gap on behalf of the lord so that i may not uh poa uh, so that i will not have to destroy it again when we stand on the gap on behalf of them standing on the gap it is interceding unasimama badala ya mtu mwingine for example if i see uh, somebody coming na mwenye ako, ako mbele yangu hamuoni nikisimama nimesimama so that whatever the person wanted to do hata mfikia mwenye nimesimama badara yake so when we stand on the gap on, on behalf of our children whatever the enemy is planning ama whatever the enemy is planning against the destinies of our children whatever the enemy can be planning so that they may not uh, reach where god had destined to them kwa maana bibi inasema katika jeremiah chapter 1 Uh, when uh, uh, Mungu alikuwa anamuongelesha Jeremiah alimwambia kwamba before hata kabra uliupika katika tupe ya mama wako nilikujua na nilikuchagua na akamtealishia mambo ambayo alikuwa yafanye so even before god gave us those children he knew them He had great plans for their lives. So we need to stand there and intercede that the enemy may not approve those good plans, that the enemy may not abort those good plans that the God that God had so that they may reach the destinies that God desired them. And uh, for example, we take us as Christians, if Jesus Christ did not stand for us as sinners, we could still be counted as sinners. But without Jesus Christ ya kwamba alijipeana na akasimama badala yetu kwa sababu ya dhambi zetu, aka kufa msalabani na ili sisi tupatikane na kwa hivyo kama sisi wasazi hebu tujitoe it doesn't matter uh, mambo ambayo imekuzunguka ama imezunguka mtoto bali wakati tunajipeana na tunamtafuta Mungu kwa sababu ya watoto wetu ya kweli atapatikana na atawarinda na atawahifadhi it doesn't matter biblia inasema kwamba we may teach them the ways of the lord and even when they grow old they shall not depart they may depart now but But when they grow old the word of god that we taught them the word of god that uh, uh, we planted in their lives it shall last to them bwana asifiwe so it is my prayer kwamba this day we shall stand 
na tujihami we take the full armor of god that we may stand and uh, intercede that we may stand on on the gap on behalf of our children and we say that uh, whatever the enemy has been planning whether in secret, whether they are exposed, it shall not prosper because our God is faithful. Na Bibi nasema katika First Peter chapter five, uh, verse eight. First Peter chapter five, verse eight. Uh, be alert and be of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, plows aloud like a rolling lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Stand in the faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of prayers. But I will emphasize on verse 5. Be alert and somber mind. Your enemy, the devil, plows aloud like a rolling lion, looking for someone to devour. Be alert. Parents, let us be alert. There are so many things that are happening. Let us be alert. Let us be on sober mind. Let us not be ignorant of the days that we are living in. But let us be alert and be sober. Because the enemy, the enemy, the devil plows aloud like a rolling lion looking for someone to devour. And let us pray akwamba sio watoto wetu atawapata. Na sio tu watoto wenye sisi tumeza. They are all children that God has given us. You may not ah uh, umeza sema ya kwamba watoto wako wamekuwa wakubwa. Ama hata hauna watoto allowed you. But God want every day he bring allowed a child. Minister speak a word of blessing intercede for that child because the enemy who is uh, our this is the devil he's rolling allow like Carayon looking for someone he may devour. So let us stand firm. Intercede for those children. Intercede even for them that are in school. There are so many things that are happening. But when we stand on the gap, intercede for them and put a hedge allow their life. Build up the wall and declare ya kwamba hakuna jambo ambaro shetani anakusudia. Ata akiwa merificha aje. Whether it is coated like ana inakuja ikuwa inameta meta and it is like deceiving the children with they shall not uh, he shall not devour them. Yesterday to put up uh, Bishop Akiongelesha teens aliwambia mambo mengi and one of the things yenye nilishika uh, uh, nilipata aliwambia uh, ya kwamba uh, unaeza kuwa mtu amekutamania ma, uh, siku nyingi na ili akuharibu na anaeza kuja today and I introduce this kesho anaifanya ana i advance kesho yake ana i advance mpaka anaatilia ya kwamba hawezi simama anakuja ya kwamba hawezi simama with the support of whatever he has introduced so let us be alert and be sober so that wakata wakati wa, watoto wanakuwa uh, introduced to different things the spirit of the lord which will alert us hatutapatwa tu hatutakuwa caught up uh, kama hatujui vile kunaendelea but we shall be sober tunapo observe even the ways our children are going tunapo angaria hata katika tabia zao we shall it will be easier for us to notice as they change so let us be sober be a rat because the devil is roaring aloud. He may be roaring aloud in the school. He may be roaring aloud at the way as they go to school. He may be roaring aloud even when the children go to visit. So you may not know when the devil may be roaring aloud to your children. So it is good to raise always to stand on the gap and intercede for them. And when we do so, we are assured. We are assured. Ya kwamba watoto wetu hawatapotea. And in summary, as I finish. There are three, uh, three prayers I desire that we may pray for our children. Uh, in Isaiah chapter 54 verse 13. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 13. Uh, Bibiria inasema. All your children will be taught by the Lord. And, the, uh, and great will be their peace. All your children will be taught by the Lord and great will be their peace. The first prayer desire that we may pray for them, even as they go back to school as tomorrow and others as the days goes by. I want us to pray that God may transform them. That God may transform them. Yes, they are the children. And uh, 
Hata omba tutoke katika dunia hii kwa sababu iko na uovu. Bali tutakaa katika dunia hii hata katika uovu huo ukijaa. Tutakaa maana atatushindania na anatusaidia. So let's pray ya kwamba watoto wetu wakuwe transformed. And how can they be transformed? It is through that God may teach them. He may teach them his ways. He may teach them uh, his ways that he may guide them that he may direct them through his ways. And how can they be transformed? It is through the word of God. Let us the letters are prayer kwamba the word of God, the word that you have taught them in classes, the word that you have as, as a parent you have taught them. Let it dwell in their heart richly that it may transform them. And even when they get to a a, a a situation that they cannot be able to get themselves out, the word of God will show them the way. Let us pray kwamba God will teach them. Hata wakiwa bali nasi, hata wakiwa shuleni, tuombea kwamba vile bibi nasema ya kwamba they be taught of the Lord. And when they are taught of the Lord, they be transformed. They be not be conformed to the world red things, but they be transformed so that they may be able to transform the children that allow them, the children that are their deskmates, their classmates, and even the environment that they are in. I want to thank God for the children that were here yesterday. Without any shadow of doubt, they were uh, filled with the Holy Spirit. And many as they came, it is not the way they left. So I want to thank God, even as they go back to school, they are being transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit. So their lives shall not be the same again as they were in 2022. They will be, they'll have that power even to stand against all the schemes and all the plans of the enemy because already they are, their lives are transformed. They are not the same again. They have somebody who can walk with them. They have somebody who can uh, guide them. They have somebody who can advocate for them because they have the Holy Spirit. So let us pray that ya kwamba watoto wetu Mungu atawajaza na roho mtakatifu ambaye atawabadilisha, ambaye atawapea nguvu mpya, ambaye atawawezesha hata kushinda maovu ambayo yanaendelea ku, ku, kuongezeka. Let us all pray ya kwamba they shall not be awatabadilishwa with the long doctrines that are there. But let us pray the right doctrines, the light word that you have taught them, the light word of God will transform them, but not the long doctrine. So let us pray, Akwamba, the power of the Holy Spirit, the word of God will transform them. We renew their minds. We renew everything that in them, that they shall be different even in everything that they do. And the other prayer I want us to pray is that God may protect them. Mungu tu awaride kwa ajili zake divinely awaride maana wakati atakapowarida they shall be strong they shall be uh, they shall be courageous they shall be able to face and to conquer every trial and every temptation that comes on their way they shall be able to stand against every bad influence from their friends from the presence that they are in so let us pray kwamba Mungu atawarida Ata waendapo bali nasi the, the, the Biblia inasema Biblia imetuambia kwamba And greater shall be their peace So hawata kuwa wakiogopa anything Even if they are not near us Even if they are far away from us But when they are taught of God Greater shall be their peace So let us continue to pray kwamba Mungu ata wafundisha Na akiwafundisha their protection is assured And the, the other thing I uh, want us to pray is That God may let store them that God may restore them. He is a faithful God. And it doesn't matter how far, how far they have gone, but God is able to restore them. And we shall read a story that we are aware of in Luke chapter 15, verse 11. Uh, as I wind up, in Luke chapter, chapter 15, verse 11, it's a prayer that God may restore our children. Uh, verse 11 Ntasoma in part in parties in parties uh, Jesus continued there was a man who had two sons the younger one said to his father father give me my share of the state so that uh, so he divided his property between them long after that the younger man the younger son got together all he had set off to a, for a distant country and there he squandered his wealth in wildly living. Um, in wildly living. Then 20 verse 
verse verse uh, 18 I will set out and go back to my father and say to him father I have sinned against heaven and against you I am no longer worthy to be called your son make me like one of your hired servants so he got up and went to his father but while he was still long away off his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him he leaned to his son through his arms loved him and kissed him I uh, we see this story of the lost son ama the prodigal son a uh, wakati aliambia the younger son aliambia mababa yake ampe his um eh uh, amgawia his share and the father did so and he went and squandered everything um and after that alisubuka akaishi hata akaenda kukula chakula pamoja na guruwe but when he came back to his senses akasema ya kwamba nitarudi kwa baba yangu na sio kama mwana bali tu anifanye kuwa kama mfanyi kazi wake ba biblia inasema ya katika verse 20 ba part b of it but when he was still long off away off his father saw him and was filled with compassion bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe his father was filled of compassion why was he filled of compassion because his son has been restored bwana asifiwe it doesn't matter how far that our children have gone aya huyu baba sidhani kama alikuwa tu anakaa hivyo akigojea ya kwamba ati mtoto wangu alienda na akamalizana na yeye hapana alikaa na, na, na he lifted up his hope and that is why mtoto alipokuwa akiingia kwa lango alimuona because he had faith and na, na, nafikiria kwamba maybe hata alikuwa anamuombea popote alipokuwa na diposa wakati alimuona hange zizuilia he uh, aliamka tu uh, aliamka uh, filled with compassion for him he learned alimkimbiria bwana asifiwe so let's pray ya kwamba god may restore our children aijarishi ni bali aje wameenenda but mungu wetu ni mwaminifu wa kuwarejesha haijarishi ni mambo magani wamefanya but god is able to restore them let's pray ya kwamba god may restore their mind god may restore them back to salvation god may restore them back to his ways na nikimalizia nitasoma kitabu cha first samuel chapter that first samuel chapter 30 haya ni wakati mji wa ziklag ulikuwa umevamiwa na david hakuwa na, na his men hawakuwa wako and when they came back they found the city has been ilikuwa imechomwa na people have been uh, taken to captive. Na Bibi inasema katika verse 4. Uh, so David and his men wept loudly until they had no strength. <clears throat> um, and then verse 6, David was greatly distressed because the men were talking of stoning stoning him. Each one was bitter in spirit because of his sons and daughters. But David found strength in the Lord. Mark that. But David found strength in the Lord. Then verse uh, 8 and David inquired of the Lord shall I pursue this leading party will I overtake them uh, pursue them he answered you will certainly overtake them and succeed in the rescue bwana asifiwe wakati David alipata ziklag imevamiwa things were burnt na watoto watoto na wake wake walikuwa wametekwa nyala David Bibi nasema ya kwamba he was greatly distressed. Bwana asifiwe. Wazazi we can be greatly distressed by the things that are there. But one thing made me happy about David. He inquired of the Lord. And when he inquired of the Lord, uh, Bibi nasema ya kwamba David found strength in the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. But David found strength in the Lord his God. So let us parent uh, irrespective of how distressed we can be by the situations that are surrounding our children but let us find our strength in the Lord our God. Bwana asifiwe. Ya kwamba is able to restore our children. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba akamjibwa akauliza shall I pursue them? Na akajibu akamwambiwa pursue them. Bwana asifiwe. So this morning let us pursue the lives of our children on our knees. Na nilikuwa najiuliza 
if we load Kenya on our knees last uh, last elections how much is effective if we can be able to rule our children on our knees? If we are able to rule the peace of our nation on our knees, how much more can we be able to rule the lives of our children on our knees? So let's pursue the lives of our children and certainly we shall, uh, we shall overtake the enemy and we shall uh, we shall recover. Ama, we shall be able to rescue our children. Buenas, if we will. So let us not cast away our confidence upon our children. To support us to Maini, now to support us to Suzunike, we have a God. Let's find the strength in our God. Yakoba, He is able to deliver them. He is able to rescue them from the hands of the enemy once we go on our knees and intercede for them. So let us pursue our children. Let us pursue the lives of our children and certainly we shall overtake the enemy and we shall recover our children. And the Bible says in Loma, in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 35 let us cast not away our confidence for it shall be richly rewarded. So as we see God for our children and as we stand for them on, on, on their behalf for, uh, for them and intercede for them let us not cast away our confidence for it shall be richly rewarded and when it shall be rewarded Added, all shall see. May God bless you as we take that position. Amen. 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 Bonas if you will. Let's appreciate Mrs. Wachira once again. This week, I it's not the first my first day in Kikuyu, but kind of my eyes were open. And um, as I was driving and or walking around, I noticed not one young man, or two, or three, or four. And I said, "You come and meet me, Um You know, they holding one another. Uh, they stand in uh, in compromised position, and they, they don't care. They hug one another, they kiss one another on the roads. Not one." Not two or three or for this week, and, uh, and I told my wife, uh, our young people, our children, the environment in which we are spiritually is a hostile environment to the faith. And if the parents, if the parents, because we can only do what we can, like yesterday. Or you know, or you bring your children in the morning. But if the parents are not going to take serious uh, concerning their children and bring them, the environment is hostile. It's hostile. Even when I speak to the teenagers, I don't speak them like children because they know a lot of things. They are already in the internet. The environment is hostile. They have everything. They have they have phones. Na si simu ni kamuisi. Wako na simu. When I get internet, they are doing every mess in the internet. They are dating. They are doing anything. They are doing bad things. I don't want to mention in the platform. You know, on the water. And if parents, we don't take these things seriously, do whatever you can to salvage, to deliver your children. Bring them close and close. I promise I want to do everything I can. You know, now it's just by the grace of God. Um, just Mrs. Washira and Sema, where go just on home? By the grace of God. Because at our nap once I call bear, on a skier, they are far. They are far. Please do something. Bring them close to you. Amen. And before you do it to them, rise up, do something to yourself. Inuka to shukuru mugu daikamoja. Tu wame mugu atusaidie. Atutakase. Asaidie jamizetu. Na hata si watoto peke yake. Atusaidie ataka jami ya wakofu. Watu wabaya wanapeda mungu. Mungu atusaidie. Hii sisi ni chamba ya Mungu atulimie. 
But the truth of the matter, the way ourselves we were brought up, the environment is miles away. The present environment is just hostile. Everything is anti-Christ. Everything. Everything. In the TV, internet, Sabani tulikuwa naenda cinemas. Wale ukuwa naenda cinemas. The cinemas likuwa eno sinagalo sana na, na serikali. Uh, port programs are being put there. No longer this days. It's no longer this days. No longer this days. The other day, there was a in the internet, um, a Finnish member of parliament ameigiswa kwa koti, amestakiwa kwa sababu amekoti Romans about homosexuality. In the same country, bishop akams, akams support Finland, and that bishop also ako kotini. Court case in Idalia and I saw fungwa bia kabiri bila paini kwa sababu and oppose homosexuality. Is the time Christian realize things are becoming hard and love, it they are coming anti Christ, anti family, anti everything. Tabadali, we must lift this higher. Salvation, a wokofu, takatifu, maobesi, commitment kwa ya mungu. We must lift the banner because the world, the environment is anti Christ. Mungu atusaidie sana. Tujubike wazazi wale ambao wako na wajukuu. Take it responsibility yako ya kusaidia wajukuu. Na si wajukuu peke yake. Hata watoto wa vijiji, neighbors, useme ni mtoto wako si wa mtoto wako. Because kama ni neighbor ata affect mtoto wako, ata affect wajukuu wako. Let's take responsibility. Let's teach children wherever you can, bring them closer. Hata kama unaweza walete kanisa kuja nao let bring them to the church pray for them teach them the word let's uh, cast the net far and wide lift up your hands father we pray that you may help us because the environment that we are in is antichrist and lord we pray even for our children our teenagers our youth the environment in which lord we are in is against them. And we pray by the grace of God. Be merciful and be kind in the name of Jesus. Na tunawaba kwa ajili ya wazazi hawa wajibike wachukue mzigo katika jina laisu wakuombea kufudisha watoto wao neno la mungu na kuafuatiria katika jina la Yesu was tusaidie sisi zote ni Mungu wetu tuhusike na kasi yako ili vizazi na vizazi ambao sinakuja usipaki na neema na imani ya Kristo katika jina la Yesu achilia Roho Mtakatifu na vipawa yako afanye kasi miongoni mwetu kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini amen 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 Tuinua bikone tena mungu ni naomba kwa kila mmoja wetu Tumekuja manyubani mwetu Tuna haja na shida na maitaji bali bali Wewe dia unaelewa Na maitaji ya watu wako katika jina la esu Nina tamuka neema ya baraka Nita tamuka neno lako Nina omba shini ya upako walom tekatifu Kwa sawa upako unavunja kila nila Saidia kanisa katika jina la Yesu mizigo yao yote Bwana inailete kwako inailete kwako ili ikatue kaivali kutana na haja na mioyo ya watu wako tumaini yetu ni wewe neema yako itatutosha katika jina la Yesu tusaidie tuchukulie mzigo tuponye mili nafsi na akili na Bwana kutana na hanja na jia na milango na neema yako ya pamoja nasi kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini. Amen. Tupige Yesu makofi. Hallelujah. Amen. So this kupea watoto kuna mambo mengi tunaendelea kufanya watoto lakini please take hiyo iwe ni jukumu lako. Ningeataka sasa tuombe kwa ajili ya matoleo yetu, eh, sadaka zetu na fungu la kumi eh, eh, tutoe na mungu wetu awese kutusaidia katika jina la isu ime diyo tuwese kuomba toa sadaka tuwa fungu lako la kumi uh, we pray amen hallelujah
Bwana Mungu na shanga kabisa nikifikiri jinsi olivyo nyota nguru kwa mnaisa jiada yote pia viumba vyo kwa uwezo wako roho yangu nai kuibie chinsi wewe ulivyo Ohoyangu nai kuipie jinsi wewe ulivyo mku Mungu wetu asubuhi ya leo katika jina la Yesu sisi kama watoto wa minio wako tunakuja mbele zako na tunashukurani kama vile umeatuagiza tusikuje mbele yako bure e, tuko na sadaka sa nyingi sa kawaida sa chukulani tuko bwana na matoleo yako ya fungu la kumi mali yetu mali yetu ambayo umetupa tumelete kama sehemu na tunainenea baraka tunainenea uponyaji tunainenea bwana expansion katika jina la neema ikashuke katika jina la Yesu kubali e, fungu na sadaka hii iwe neema connection yetu na wewe na neema na baraka nena na mioyo yetu baliki watu wako nyosha mkono wako na katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini amen amen praise god praise god tulete sadaka na fungu amen choir please